these last two hard questions in the grid ends of test four, the calculator permitted section, are very tricky. They're easier if you've done physics, but I imagine many of you out there, if you're in junior year and you're taking the PSAT, haven't done physics, so probably not very helpful. Uh, but if you've done physics, you can approach them that way. But I'm going to approach these questions as if you've never taken physics before, because they can be done mathematically. You just have to translate the height and time and all those things into uh, mathematical understanding so that you can manipulate these equations. So we're given three equations, one that relates speed and time, another that relates position and time, and, and the third that relates position and speed. So an arrow is launched upward with an initial speed of 100 meters per second. So here's an arrow, it's launched upward with an initial speed of 100 meters per second. The equations above describe the constant acceleration motion of the arrow, where v naught is the initial speed of the arrow. So this is 100. V is the speed of the arrow as it is moving up in the air. H is the height of the arrow above the ground. T is the time elapsed since the arrow was projected upward. And G is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. So G is 9.8. So our first question, what is the maximum height from the ground that the arrow, uh, the arrow will rise to the nearest meter? So we want the maximum height. There's probably a lot of ways to do this mathematically, but there's one way which I think is easiest, which is to look at this equation. Notice this is the equation of height, and let's write it out with all the numbers in here. So height is equal to v naught t. Well, t is a variable, so we're going to put in 100 for v naught though. So 100 t minus, now g is 9.8, so a half times 9.8 is 4.9, so we're going to say 4.9 t squared. So we have an equation which is a parabola, and if you were to graph this parabola, what you would see is, it's going to do this part, it's what well, looks something like this, which would make sense. Think about what the trajectory of an arrow would look like if you shot it in the air. It would rise up, come back down. So this parabola models the path, the position, right, the height of that arrow as time elapses. So if we want the maximum height, that's this point right here. Mathematically speaking, that is just the vertex of this parabola. So if I solve this for the vertex and I get the y coordinate, or the in this case, the h coordinate of the vertex, I've got my answer. So that's how we're going to approach this one. So uh, the to get the vertex, first need to find the axis of symmetry. And that's essentially the x coordinate, or in this case, the t coordinate of the vertex. And that's minus b over 2a. So let's rearrange this so we can get it into the proper form, because it should look like this, right? Where this is A and this is B. So we're going to get T equals 100 over 4.9, negative 4.9 times 2. And actually, we're going to make this negative 100 because it's minus B. So the negatives are going to cancel. We're going to get 100 over 9.8. And I'm going to leave that and use that as my time, just because in this problem we're going to have to do rounding, and I want to keep all my numbers intact until the last minute, until the last number I get, which I will round then. If the earlier you round, the more likely you're going to have an issue later when that rounding carries through to your final step and actually ends up messing up your answer by just a little bit. But with the grid ends, if you're off by 0.01, it doesn't matter. It's, it's wrong. So wait to round until the last second. So anyway, t is 100 over 9.8, and now we are going to find the height by plugging this in for time into our equation here. So h equals 100 times 100 over 9.8 minus 4.9 times 100 over 9.8 squared. So let's go ahead and find out my answer here. So we have, whoops. 100 times 100 divided by 9.8 gets me that, minus 4.9, can be careful here, times 100 divided by 9.8 parentheses squared. So this should work. Order of operations should work out for all this. So we do all the subtraction. We get 510. Now, do they want us to round to the nearest meter? So 510.2 to the nearest meter is going to be 510. And that's the answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.